So we're going to go over this one more time. Once again, this is Yashar from the God Was Manifest in the Flesh Church located in Long Beach, California. What I'm about to do is go over the Godhead, the basics of it, the Godhead, because we can never get a, a full understanding of it, only what the Most High has presented to us in the Bible and the Scriptures, that we can understand. Okay, but it's deeper than this. Okay, but I'm going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4 again. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay, now let's go to John chapter 10 and verse 2. I mean, verse 30. John chapter 10 and verse 30. Okay, John chapter 10 and verse 30. It says, I and my Father are one. So Deuteronomy 6 and 4, okay, the Lord our God is one. John chapter 10, verse 30, I and my Father are one. And let's go to 1 John chapter 5 and verse 7. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 7. Okay? And it reads, For there are three that bear record in heaven, in the spiritual realm, three, the Father, which is Yahweh, the Word, which is Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. So that's three and one, or one and three. Okay, which is called the Godhead or the Trinity. There are three that bear a record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. These three are one, meaning of the same nature, essence, and substance. Okay. Different persons, which I'm going to get to, let's go to that next. It's not really entities, but persons. Okay. To keep it biblical, they call it persons. Okay. Um, three entities, but one, uh, one God and three persons, one God and three persons, the father, the son, and the Holy spirit. Okay. Hebrews chapter one and verse three. Okay. Cause the Christ is not the father Yahweh. The father Yahweh is not Jesus Christ. Okay. The father Yahweh is not the Holy spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit is not the Father Yahweh. Okay? Jesus Christ is not the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is not Jesus Christ. Okay? They, it's all the same Spirit, but three persons, three different functions. Okay? Three in one, or one in three, which is the Godhead or the so called Trinity. Okay? This is Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. He says, who being, this is talking about Jesus Christ, Hamashiach Yahweh who being the brightness of his glory, his glory is talking about the light, the light and the power. So Christ is the light and the power of the Most High. Okay? The fullness of the light and power of the Most High. And the express image of his person, image means icon. Okay? When Christ is God manifest in the flesh, that means he's the express image of his person. And they go to the word person right there. Person, person comes from the Greek word hypostasis, hypostasis, which means substance, nature, or essence. Look it up in the Greek. In the Greek, it's hypostasis, which is substance, nature, or essence. So Christ, Jesus Christ, in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. Okay, Christ is the express image of the Most High. Just like I just read in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 9, where it says Christ is fully God. The fullness of the Godhead bodily, physically, in his humanity, he was fully God. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, okay, meaning in Christ's person, in his humanity, in his physical form, when he came here on earth, Christ was the express image of the Most High. Now, Christ could not display the fullness of the Most High because we wouldn't have been able to handle it, okay? He could not display it because it would have been too much glory and power for us. So Christ did certain things to let people know and said certain things and did certain things and worked certain things 
to let you know that he was God manifest in the flesh. He, can, he could have done much more. But for one thing, he was in the flesh. And another thing, he couldn't display all of the Most High's glory and power because we could not relate to that or been able to handle it. Okay, we would have been destroyed. So Christ had to decrease his power. But he had the same spirit of the Most High, but for our sakes, he couldn't shine forth uh, fully of the spirit of God that he had, or the Holy Spirit. Let's read that again, Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. Who being the brightness of his glory. Now I want to say one more thing is that Christ displayed some of his glory at the mount when he transfigured himself. He went from human flesh, okay, to his glorified form. And that wasn't even all his glorified form. That was just some of it. And you see how the apostles reacted? They couldn't handle it. So Christ couldn't display his total power, which is the power of the Father, which is the same spirit, because we would have dropped dead. We cannot handle it. But let's go uh, to Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. You see, Paul, at the same time, Acts and Acts on the road to Damascus in Acts chapter 9, Christ's glory, his glory shined forth on Paul. There came a light from heaven. And what happened to Paul? He was blinded. So Christ's glory, his, his, his glory, just behold, just to look at his glory, it will blind you like it did Paul. So imagine if he come in the fullness of his glory, we would drop dead. So when Christ comes back, like it says in Matthew, in the power, uh, in the glory of his, his, his own glory and of his father's, there's going to be people that's dropped dead as soon as Christ comes. Some people just go instantly die. Okay, and that was displayed by the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 5 when they lied. And Peter said, you have not lied to me, but you have not lied to me, you have lied to God. And then it says, um, the Holy, you have lied to the Holy Spirit. Okay, so they just drop dead. So it's going to be people dropping dead when Christ come back. Okay, so who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, they go that word person once again, which means comes from the Greek word hypostasis, which means nature, essence, and substance. Christ is the substance, nature, and essence of the Father. One spirit and three persons. Okay. Now it says, if Christ is the express image of his person, whose person? The Father's. So the Father must be a person. In other words, a personality, a person, okay? And the Son is the express image of his person, so the Son must be a person, okay? So Jesus Christ is a person, the Father is a person, the Holy Spirit has to be a person if all of them are one. Like it says, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 7, okay? 1 John chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, which is the person, as we just read in Hebrews chapter 3, the Word, I mean, chapter 1 and verse 3, the Father, the Word, which is Jesus Christ, which is Hamashiach, Yahushai, okay? It just said in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 that Christ is the... Uh, is the express image of his person. So Christ, which is the word, must be a person, which he is, okay, which is the substance and nature and essence of the Father. And it says, and the Holy Ghost. So if there is the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, so if the Father, the Word, which is Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, is one, they must all be persons. And so that's the basics of the Trinity or the so-called Godhead. One and three, three and one, um, God, uh, and three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? And with that, I'll say shalom and uh, go over this another time. Shalom to all Israel. May all the brothers and sisters repent of their evil and come to Christ with their whole spirits and mind and repent and turn away 
from all negativity and come to righteousness. Okay, shalom.